Have you dispensed Adam's judgment to Sister Gwyneth? Oh, yes. I know he will come. Be with me. And all you will. Our family has gotten a little bigger. Welcome. Zealot Ware seems so interested in Brother Devon's fast. I wonder if he's thinking about joining him. you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Slobbering goon? Do people have bad reactions you to the spring? You make it through the ritual intact. Sort of the point. A vision from Adam is a great honor. Not something so to tell be granted me. to the unworthy. What did you see? So the spring is supposed to hurt people? The spring shows who's capable of serving Adam and who is not. Clearly Adam saw your strength and blessed you with the vision of... A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the Mother of... The... How did... it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. So, you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith, and guardians of the nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, is actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any vision? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when May I was just a girl. Couple years. Adam's veil hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead I was the only one to survive. Chance, thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge. Drinking puddles and salt water. Until I stumbled the on a spring. spring. The vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. When I, I finally was in control, came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our Though order. prone to strange moods, she was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for At least for her. until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was I'm always clever that I failed. What caused Gwyneth to turn her back on Adam? I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly. When she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is alive. confronted her. She struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, Tectus she wanted fled. us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time, it was not his decision. Confessor Martin Hope insisted her we wait. return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. One of the or acolytes so fight her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemy knew it had to be her. Why not just. Ignore her. Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat no, to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed.
Please. Oh, keep the Talk station. She must be staying at a campground. At least the directions are clear.
done. The messages are posted. I... I know it could mean my life, but the children must know. I was paging through a pre-war tome when I saw it. The atom. A tiny speck of matter surrounded by endless depths. A vast emptiness that dwells within us all. It only reaffirmed what I'd felt all this time. The truth the Confessor wanted no one to hear. The lie that is Adam. It's not real. We aren't all infinite worlds. Just empty space. Dead. Cold. That we are nothing. The Confessor won't be pleased by my messages. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to start moving things to the old church by the West Access Road in case... In case they decide to join me. I... I just hope I'm not too late to save them from Adam's lies. the truth of nothing. The truth of nothing? What does that mean? If you are truly prepared to hear it, then I will tell you. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel, all of it. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. Nothing is the true nature of existence. I have seen it with my own eyes. A void so vast and empty, like a night sky without stars. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must. And so must the others. They deserve to know the truth. understood what you saw and overreacted. Do you really believe that everyone is wrong about Adam, except you? I can't... I can't think about that now. I've strayed so far from the path. I don't dare look back. Fear and doubt have blinded you, sister. But I think in your heart, you don't really believe any of this. Blinded by fear and doubt? I can't deny the truth of those words. How could I have been such a fool? I was a child of Adam, one of the beloved. I must seek forgiveness from the others. Please tell Richter that I will return soon. I'll accept whatever punishment is deemed just. Watch yourself out there. Her her actions. Wasn't sure anyone Can't could. promise the High Confessor won't just kill her on sight. Still, a tale of sin and redemption sets a useful You've example. done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, Adam your smiles loyalty. on you today, brother. So, was this a paying job? Do not fear. You will be recognized for your dedication. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth, and show no mercy. 
to the enemies of Adam.